So I think this video has been the most requested, but the one that I really tried to avoid the most. My lens looks so dirty. It's disgusting. Hope you guys can see. I'm really not liking this lens right now because I can't find my other lens, so I have to resort in this stupid fisheye lens, which you can see all the crap in my room. Anyway. So I asked on Twitter and Tumblr some questions that you guys may have about my tattoos. Oh, finally, yay. Like I said, I've been avoiding this video. I wanted to wait until I had a lot more tattoos, but it's come to a time where I'm going to be taking a long, long break before I get another one, so I will just make this video. I have six tattoos, but technically seven, and I'll show you why. So my first tattoo was my quote, and the reason why I say seven tattoos is because it continues on both arms, so it's technically two separate tattoos. I have Roman numerals, I have a lipstick stain, I have a rose, a samurai geisha, a Japanese tea garden in San Francisco. So, question number one, why did I decide to get a tattoo? Oh my god, the shadow is so annoying. I grew up like with an artistic background. I'm surprised. Ooh, Asian. I don't know one person who doesn't want a tattoo. I think everybody wants a tattoo. It's just a matter of fact of, you know, taking that step of actually getting one. I wanted a tattoo and so I basically just went to go get one because ugh. I mean, I've been thinking about getting a tattoo throughout high school. It's just I didn't know of what until I came upon something that happened in my life. As a result, I got my first tattoo, which is my quote. But I'm not gonna explain it because it's a little personal. Question number two. How much money did I spend on tattoos? I think in total, I've spent about $1,200. Some people say, oh, that's mad cheap. Some people are gonna be like, oh, you spent a lot of money. There's so many artists out there that there's so many people out there at the same time getting like mad hookups and stuff because you know people my artist I basically just walked into a shop and that's how I met him so really no hookups I'm mean, basically paying like regular ish prices for my tattoos so I don't know exactly how much I paid for each tattoo for sure over a thousand dollars do you get judged in public I I get judged in public Yes, it just depends on the location. You now, if I'm in a place where it's there's a lot of families and there's a lot of kids and stuff, yes, I get tons and tons of looks. I mean, I get stared down, I get dirty looks. Besides on just looks, I do get judged on the fact that majority of my tattoos have no meaning. Pretty much only one of my tattoos has a solid meaning, which is my quote. There are five tattoos. It's just it's just art, right? But to me, that's kind of the meaning. Um, it's, that's that's a solid reason for me. There are people out there who feel the need to have every single tattoo um, to have a meaning. That's that's not me. I have my own opinion on that the, the idea of that, but that's just not me. This is probably the number one question and the one after this. <sighs> do my parents know? No, my parents do not know. And I beg of you. I know I have a ton of cousins and stuff on social media so please if you want me to to continue to live in this wonderful world just please don't tell my parents I know most of you guys are probably looking at me like if you if you're so scared of your parents knowing why did you get one right I will eventually tell, tell my parents but by then I hope I get to this point uh, when I'm done when I'm done getting all my tattoos then I feel like that makes more sense for me to tell my parents because if I went to go tell my mom right now and I do plan to finish my sleeve she's just gonna straight up be like okay no more tattoos right for her to say that and me to go get a tattoo it's just I'm just pushing I'm just pushing it right um, when it comes to that respect and yes it's been a year how do I hide my tattoos the only way really is wearing long sleeves right is to just completely cover it up I've had my tattoo since last summer two summers in a row I have been wearing long sleeves around them it's not such a big deal because one um, I work and I go to school there's that huge chunk of time where I don't see my parents. When they come home, I only see them for like max 10, 15 minutes and I can suck it up and wear a sweater in the summer for like 10, 15 minutes inside the house, not a big deal. At the end of the day, they don't really 
hair that I'm wearing long sleeves. It's just kind of like, why, why are you wearing long sleeves, right? Not really a huge issue. Is there a story behind my sleeve? Not exactly. Um, I do kind of want to continue with the, the Japanese style kind of art. Do they hurt? Um, honestly, those who say no, that's a lie. You're telling me that if I took a needle and I continuously stabbed you, it would not hurt? It's just more of a tolerance kind of thing. It's, it's more like, can you, are you able to tolerate it? Like, you do feel pain, so whoever says it doesn't hurt, you're crazy. Would you marry a guy who doesn't have tattoos? I think it'd be really weird for me to be like on an altar and then the only one tatted up. I fall in love with this guy and he absolutely does not have one tattoo. I mean, he obviously has some kind of reason, right? Like, like I said, I'm pretty sure like 99.9% .9 of this world wants a tattoo. He better have a damn good reason as to why he doesn't have a tattoo. Aren't you worried about how you will look like when you become really old? I live this life every day not giving a damn of what, what happens tomorrow. I don't know, but I'm Asian, so my skin, like, my elasticity, like, my collagen is pretty, you know, pretty damn good. Considering the fact that my grandma was, like, almost 90 years old and her the elasticity in her skin was still pretty damn good. So, I don't think I have it worry about anything. What made me get a sleeve? Um, I wanted my first, okay well, I wanted my first tattoo. I wanted to be able to have it in a place where I can see it. I want it to be like visible, like so I can see it, that kind of thing. Or the part of the body that I see the most, probably my arms or my hands, right? Actually, the reason why I got it across my arms, this is a little secret, but Tony, Tony the Taiga from, <laughs> fuck, where are you from? Tennessee, Tony from Tennessee. The reason why I put my tap my quilt on my arms is because of you. Better come visit me, bitch. But yeah, that's that's something that nobody really knows. Um, oh, future tattoos. Yes. Well, I will get more tattoos. It's just I'm financially like in trouble right now. Um, although my arm looks kind of stupid sometimes because of like all the empty spaces. Yeah, I plan to. I'm not going to tell you what exactly I'm getting because I don't care about people's opinions. I'll just say I will be finishing my arm and I will be getting my entire back done. I don't know about my chest. I've seen some girls and some girls can rock it. That's it for now. Um, if you have any more questions, just leave a comment below. I guess don't ask me. I hate when people ask me questions about my tattoos in person. So, oh yeah, uh, if you're wondering where I get my tattoos, I go to Fat Buddha at Pacific Mall upstairs. Holla at Marvin. This, I went to Chronic Ink. My quote my friend did, so I'll catch you guys later. Bye!